Let's move on to the first question today. And the first question today comes to us from one of our Patreon supporters, Dion Shepard. And thank you so much for being a Patreon supporter, Dion. Um, hey, John and crew. So, I know AMC released a runtime for Avengers Endgame and then took it down. However, now I am seeing the runtime of 182 minutes on every theater website in my area. I'm in Ontario. If this is a confirmation of the runtime, my excitement level just went through the atmosphere. What are your thoughts? All right, thanks a lot for the question, Dion. And again, Dion, thank you so much for being a Patreon supporter. Um, so what happened was, a little while back, there was a screenshot of an AMC uh, uh, site that showed the runtime for Avengers Endgame at 182 minutes. And at the time, and then they took it down, I said, hey, just remember, it very well could be three hours and two minutes, because that's in the neighborhood of what they were saying it could be. But don't take that as confirmation yet. We've seen many times, I can think of four or five examples, you can too, of when like a runtime came out and that wasn't the runtime. So I said, don't get, let's not lock that in yet. It's not confirmed. And it's still not confirmed, but everybody... Everybody the last couple of days I've seen, it's either been 184 minutes, 182 minutes, or 178 minutes, all within like four or five minutes of each other. But it's starting to look like it is indeed 182. That's not the final confirmation yet, but it looks like that's what it's going to be. So we've been talking about this notion of the runtime for a while. Look, let's start with this. Avengers Endgame is a incredibly anticipated movie. People are looking forward to this. At least those who are looking forward to it are looking forward to it a great deal and are incredibly stoked about it. There's a lot of enthusiasm, especially riding off the momentum that we had in Avengers Infinity War rolling into this. So obviously the people who are really into this hear the idea of three hours and go, yeah, because to some people, the longer, the better, right? understandable. You know, good food, the longer the meal, the better. Good sex, the longer, the better. Great movie, the longer, the better. Although that's not always the case with a great movie. Because sometimes we've all seen movies that would have been great if it was like 15 or 20 minutes shorter, right? We've all seen those movies. And if it had been 15 or 20 minutes shorter, it would have gone from a good movie to probably a great movie. Uh, so, so there's that case. Now, the excitement level is really for the people who are already into this movie. There are people who are more casual fans that look at a three-hour runtime and go, oh my God, no. For example, big movie fan, my brother-in-law, Ray. Ray, who does the, the graphics here for the channel um, and all this kind of stuff, has been dying to see Avengers Endgame. Dying to see it. The moment he saw three hours, he went, oh, well, I'll probably wait for it then. I'll probably wait for it. Because there are people who do not like movies that are that long. And I've been getting more and more messages from people saying, you know, if it's over three hours, I'll probably, I'm, I'm excited for it, but I'll probably wait till it comes out on home video. If it's three hours, all my p friends at work who are probably, you know, middle of the road fans, all my friends at work are saying they're going to wait for it on Redbox and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. And then of course, there's been the discussion we've been having about, you know, whether or not theaters should look at reinstituting things like an intermission, which I think would be a great idea for movies that are over two hours and 45 minutes, three hours long, whatever. So it brings up the question, is three hours too long for Avengers Endgame? Is this just too long? Well, that depends on a couple of things. Number one, if you're trying to get as much box office as possible, then yes, three hours is too long. If one of the things you're talking about is, you know, how much, how big of a success can this, because the movie's going to be successful no matter what, right? I already told you, Endgame could be two hours of Kevin Feige, Bob Iger, and Alan Horn standing on screen, bobbling their balls in their hands going, you want to watch a movie? You want to watch a movie? And it would still make a billion dollars, right? It would still make a billion dollars. So this movie's going to be successful. The only question is, how successful will it be, Right. If you're trying to gauge whether or not three hours is too long by, 
are you going to get the maximum amount of box office that you can? Then three hours is too long. Sure. I mean, remember, we've talked about Box Office Pro put out the report that says, hey, we're guessing maybe $280, $290 million opening weekend unless, Box Office Pro said, the movie clocks in at three hours or more, in which case that limits the amount of screenings they can have, and then you'll probably have to drop that number a little bit. And of course, there are going to be some people like Ray, like other people that look at a three-hour runtime for a movie and go, that's a little bit too long for me, and they're going to take a pass. So... If you're judging whether or not a three-hour Endgame movie is too long, strictly by are you going to maximize your box office return, then yes, you can make an argument that three hours is too long. However, let me propose this. I've said for a long time that You know, people would often ask me, John, do you think an hour and a half is too short of a movie? Do you think two and a half hours is too long? And what we talked about the other week is like, each movie has its own best runtime, right? Each movie has its own optimal runtime. Certain movies would be best at 90 minutes. There are a lot of movies that they will just have crisp pace and wrap everything up and be really satisfying at 90 minutes. And that's what those movies should be. Those movies should be 90 minutes long. It's not a matter of quality. It's a matter of what runtime brings out the best in this movie. Because like I said before, we've all seen movies that we came out and going, that was good, but it dragged in some places. It felt like it could have, if they sliced like 15 minutes out of the movie, it would have had much better pace and it would have felt much better. Right? We've all had that. Now, there are some movies that we watch that are like maybe two hours and 20 minutes long and go, man, it just felt like they rushed through everything. This movie could have benefited from being another 15 or 20 minutes long. You know what I mean? So some movies were saying, man, they should have sliced out about 15 or 20. And some movies we watch and we go, man, that felt rushed. They should have added another 15 or 20. And what I've always said is that, look, trust Kevin Feige. They are going to make Endgame the right length. Because there are some people saying, oh man, Endgame should be four hours long. No, it shouldn't be four hours long. It's going to have whatever length that is best for it. So if the if the Russo brothers and Kevin Feige come out and give us an Endgame movie that's two and a half hours long, believe and trust that that's the right runtime for that movie. Don't just make it longer for the sake of make it, making it longer. That, that'll ruin the film. But if this movie is three hours long, then I believe that that is the perfect length for this movie. Yeah, I had somebody this morning, a buddy of mine, uh, sent me a message saying, why is this movie three hours long? I said, well, because apparently three hours and 15 minutes would have been too long and two hours and 45 would have been too short. That's why it's three hours long. So to me, yeah, if you're talking about just maximizing the box office return to its fullest potential, then sure, yes, three hours is too long, sure. However, that's not the question that guys like Bob Iger, Kevin Feige, the Russo brothers, are all, and Alan Horn are all asking right now. They're asking, what is the runtime of this movie that makes the best possible movie? Because in the long run, making great Marvel films will ensure that future Marvel films make money too. And yeah, maybe, maybe we miss out on a little bit of money with a three-hour runtime for this movie. But if we make this movie the perfect length and give maximum quality to it, That little bit of money we miss out on for this one, we will make up for that in future installments because we keep perpetuating the solidness, the reliability, and the quality of our MCU films. And people will come back, and they'll come to our next film, and they'll come to our next film. So yes, they're going to miss out on a little bit of money. They will. I, I think we all agree on that. They will miss out on a little bit of money. But if this is indeed the perfect runtime for this movie, Not three hours and 20 minutes, not two hours and 21 minutes, but three hours and two minutes. If that's the perfect runtime, then is three hours and two minutes too long? No. Then it's the right call, even financially, because you don't just look at these financial questions in the small picture. You look at it long term and making the better movie will make you more money down the road. Better movie now more money down the road. You might miss out on a little bit here right now, 
fine. We move on. So I know there are going to be some people that will complain that three hours and two minutes is too short. What are your three hours and two minutes? This is the end of a 20 plus film run. It's it's an end game. It should be five hours long. I know there's going to be some people like that. I know there are some people like Ray that are going three hours. What the hell? I want to see a movie. I don't want to run a marathon. Like, blah, blah, blah. I understand. But I think at the end of the day, the best thing to do is make the runtime of your movie the best runtime for your particular movie. Don't go into it saying, let's make it four hours long. And don't go into it saying, let's make it two hours long. Look at your script. Get a feel for the pacing. Understand if it's got the right cadence. Understand if it's feeling too rushed or if it's feeling too dragged. And then you come to your runtime and go with that, whatever it is. I mean, if it's five hours, you got to rethink things. But, and you go with that with whatever it is. And uh, yeah, no, no, look, ultimately, you and I can't really say if three hours is too long or too short until we see it. Once we see it, Then we'll probably come out and go, man, that was perfect. Or we'll go, oh, it just dragged in some, it was great, but it dragged in some places. Maybe it could have been a little shorter. Or we might come out and go, man, that was awesome, but it felt really rushed. They should have added, we won't know until we see it. But for now, I have all the faith in the world that three hours and two minutes, if that's the actual runtime, I trust Kevin Feige. This is probably the right length. And, uh, And if that's the case, then no. Three hours is not too long. A little bit of sacrifice financially, but they'll make up for that long term if they execute, and I think they will. What do you guys think? Do you think the three-hour runtime is a good runtime? Do you think it's too long? Do you think it's too short? What are some thoughts that you have? Jump down in the comment section and let me know your thoughts.